All right, shalom, shalom. First off, and for most as always, I'm going to say, call Lang La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Takwadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, shalom to the hopeful elect out there, 104,000. Okay, so this lesson, you know, is going to be titled, Seek the Kingdom. Okay. Seek the kingdom, you know, and this is going to be, you know, quick hit, you know, but Lord's word is, is edifying and I'm going to hop right into it. Okay, so starting off, this is the uh, book of Matthew chapter six and verse 33 to verse 34 <clears throat> and the GNT, uh, the GNT version. And it says, instead, be concerned above everything else with the kingdom of the most high and with what he requires of you. And he will provide you with all these other things, right? So <clears throat> it's our duty to, you know, uh, you know, seek Yahweh Shema Shai while he is near, while he may be found. You know, it says, um, it says, uh, uh, seek the Lord 10 times more, okay? Roughly paraphrasing it because, you know, us being awoken, us being, you know, us having our pure mind stirred up by, by way of remembrance, okay? It's our reasonable service to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay, let's get that real quick. Romans 12 and verse uh, 1, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service right this is our service okay so we have to you know uh serve y'all bush my shy you know with everything we got you know now now times are going to be tough it's going to get hard but hey you got to rebuke the flesh and just keep pushing you know you got to keep going stay the course you know verse two when it says uh, so like, yeah, verse one I'm, I'm, I'm like, I wanted to touch on the point where it says a living sacrifice. Okay, because, you know, we got to put, you know, the Lord first, you know, and we, and we got to put ourselves last, you know, you know, you know, doing the will of the Lord, doing the work of the Lord, you see, and always abounding in the work of, of Yahweh Shemal Shai, as it says in the book of 1 Corinthians 15, okay, the 58th verse. And it says, verse, verse 2, it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. Okay, so we're not to be, you know, attached to this world. We're not to be, you know, um, to have a spiritual stake within Babylon. Okay, so we're supposed to, because, we, you know, we're holy, you know, we've been made holy, you know, uh, from this world, you know, to be separate. You know, to, to, to you know, to, to be, you know, away from the wickedness, you know, the darkness. Okay, because how Shai said what? John 17 and verse 9, it says, actually, no, not verse 9. Uh, let me see. Yep, John 17 and verse 6, excuse me. And it says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Okay. So was that it right there? Let me just make sure. Okay, yep, that was it. That was the point. So like I read it one more time. My bad. John 17 of verse 6, and it says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. Right? So the Lord has, you know, uh, called us to be to be put out of this world, to be you know, to uh, not be amongst, you know, these people in gross darkness. You see, and it says, I have manifested thy name. So we have the names of Yahweh Bashimah Shai. Okay. And it says, thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they were, and they have kept thy word. You see, and ultimately, that's, that's talking about the elect, the hundred four for a thousand, because those men ultimately are the men that, you know, are, are, uh, are going to be the ones crowned, you know, the ones that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay, so, so off that point alone, you know, we're not supposed to, you know, um, 
uh, worry about things, you know, within this life. We're not supposed to, you know, let mortal thoughts, you know, throw us off our A game because that's what Satan wants you, you know, wants you to think, you know, because Satan, he likes to isolate your mind and have you thinking about things that don't fucking matter. Okay, because we got a kingdom coming. Okay, Satan wants you, he, you know, Satan is going to try to sift you and try to have you thinking about something completely, you know, uh, vain and temporal rather than, you know, thinking about the kingdom of the most high and thinking about eternal, you know, uh, uh, eternal power, glory, you know, deliverance. Okay, because prophecy, prophecy is still going to manifest regardless. Okay, so it's our job to continue to push and strive, you know, and that's why we pray that the Holy Spirit is not taken away from us and that we're, you know, just that we endure to the end, you know. This is the book of Second Ezra, uh, fourteen, verse Second Ezra fourteen and fourteen. It says, "Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature." Right? You know these mortal thoughts are just thoughts that the flesh, you know, pours out. You know. Because the flesh wants you to think about, you know, a temporal woman, you know, something that's that's vain. You know, the flesh wants you to think about something that doesn't matter, you know. And it says, put off now the weak nature, right, man? Put that shit away, you know. Now, of course, you know, we, you know I know we're in the flesh. You know, we're in the sinful flesh. Things are going to happen, but the show must go on, okay? Things have to be done, okay, because we have been called to do this service just like i just read in romans 12 1 it says this is our reasonable service okay and that's why this lesson is called seek the kingdom of the most high you know seek the kingdom you know look past this place okay you know we got to look uh, uh past this place because we're above this place just like how shai said he said that i'm above and, and and you are from beneath you know going in about because the context of that way how shai was saying going in you know talking to those wicked ass jews you know those pharisees Okay, and it says verse 15 and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right, man. So, you know, put away, you know, the weak thoughts, put away, you know, those, you know, that that bullshit that's that's holding you down, you know, fast if need be, you know, because that's just Satan trying to have you. Think about things at the present time rather than thinking about privacy, thinking about the brotherhood, thinking about, you know, uh, the kingdom. You know, that's why it's called this. This lesson is called Seek the Kingdom of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. All right. And don't worry, man. You know, we're going to get it all. You know, you know, we're, you know, we're going to get, you know, uh, you know, uh, land and universes, you know. Hey, brothers that don't have women right now and, and you want one. Guess what? The Lord is going to give you that. All right, the Lord's gonna give you an, an abundance of what you plead, of, of what you uh, um, desire, you know, because it's gonna be our kingdom. All right, it's gonna be Yahweh uh, Shai's kingdom, okay, and, and we're our joint heirs with you know with the Yahweh Shai, okay. So it's all good, man. You know, it's all good. Romans eight and verse eighteen it says. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right. So, you know, we have future glory coming for us. OK, the, the Lord knows what we you know, what we want. The Lord knows, you know, everything about us. You know, that's why he says the Lord will give you a, will, um, give it to you before you even ask for it, you know, before you pray for it. OK, so the Lord knows, you know, uh, uh, the things that we desire. The Lord knows the things that we you know seek to have okay the lord knows that we're striving towards perfection striving towards the kingdom seeking the kingdom of yahweh Shai, okay but that's why how shai said what the kingdom was with is, is within you okay you know and and how do you and how do you go about that you know self-examination you know self-evaluation scrutinizing yourself you know discipline rebuking the flesh you know seeing what's wrong you know the, the things that you got to work <clears throat> Excuse me. Seeing what's wrong and seeing the, the the things that you have to work on for yourself, you know. 
and it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And that's factuals, man. Okay, because the things you're going through, whether it's financial, whether you have got problems in the flesh, whether you're going through some bullshit, whatever the case may be, just know that the glory was going to be, you know, revealed in us is not going to compare to anything that we've seen, to anything that we're going through. Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be greater than winning a NBA championship, the Super Bowl. Okay, getting a WWE belt. Okay, it's, it's gonna be better than being a uh, a billionaire because everything right now on this side is temporal. Okay, let's, and actually let's, let's end it off on that. This is Second uh, Corinthians four and verse eighteen. It says, "While we look at, excuse me, while we look not at the things which are seen." But at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, right? You know, this world right now, that this present wicked as world, you know, you got dudes, you know, you, you got the wicked, they're prospering right now, you know, but that's okay. Because soon that prospering that they have is going to be cut off. You see, it says for the things which are seen are temporal. Okay. This present world is temporal, man. Okay. This place is, this place is so damn temporal. All right. That's why I'm glad that Yahweh Bashmal Shai is going to bring judgment upon this temporal as uh, kingdom. Okay? And it says, but the things which are not seen are eternal. All right? And what's that? The kingdom. Okay? Going back, going back to the title of this lesson, it's called Seek the Kingdom. Okay? Seek the Kingdom of Yahweh Bashmal Shai. And these things shall be added unto you. All right? So that being said, I just want to say, call Lang La, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash. Though but honor being to the elder apostles of great millstone that do rule and teach well, and shall I to the hopeful elect, the hundred and four four thousand, and Lord's will of the Lord's sheep was fed. With that being said, shall I want.